Hi everyone, today we have a lecture. Our lecture is Physics of Pressure Pressure in the human body. Generally, pressure equal force per unit area. Unit of force is in Newton and area meter square. The unit of a pressure is Pascal and Pascal equal one newton over meter square. So atmospheric pressure is one atmosphere equal 100 or 1.3 kilo pascal many units are used to measure pressure millimeter mercury measure blood pressure PSI pounds per square inch which measure the pressure in the tire three Pascal which used to measure pressure by engineers and scientists uh, the most Common method in measuring pressure in medicine is the height of column of mercury this way of measuring the pressure is by seeing the height of column of fluid so we have a glass 
a tube and it's contain some type of a fluid this is glass tube fluid which may be mercury or water or other fluids and to and indicate pressure by the height of coulomb of fluid this fluid will exert a force per unit area and this force comes from the weight of the column of this type of the liquid on the base and uh, the law that used to measure the pressure is P pressure rho G H P pressure with G density and G acceleration due to a gravity and H is the height of column of a fluid which is either mercury, water or other types of fluid that used to measure pressure and the pressure is indicated by the height of column of a fluid and calculated the physical pressure by this uh, law so the instrument the instrument that used to calculate pressure is a manometer manometer is a u shaped glass tube containing a fluid half its uh, volume for example this is a u-shaped tube glass tube containing some type of fluid like mercury so it's open to atmospheric pressure the atmospheric pressure and to measure pressure pressure by this instrument one and open to atmospheric pressure and the other end is connected to pressure to be measured mean this YouTube
this is atmospheric pressure and here the pressure we want to measure the pressure in the two arms change until the pressure in the two levels uh, has stationary state to uh, calculate the difference between the height of the liquid in two levels and the difference in the height of the two levels can indicate as H which indicates which is the pressure which is indicating to the pressure we want to measure uh, one one application to uh, manometer is the sphygmo manometer which is used to measure the blood pressure and we can explain the instruments called sphygmometer and how to we use to measure blood pressure by a simple uh, sketch It's not clear, sorry. So, we will clear and we try to draw it easily by this way. Okay, sorry for the state. Uh, this is, oh, sorry, this is the arm. Sorry for bad drawing for the hand. And this is the brachial artery. And we want to measure blood pressure. This is the arm. So, consists of a cuff around the arm and this cuff is connected to a bulb and this is knob or uh, valve and here the manometer is connected in this point Okay, this is the manometer. Manometer. This is mercury. And all this is the manometer and the levels of the levels air change with the increased pressure. So when we, uh, see this is the ball, when we squeeze this bulb, air will move on the, in two ways, in equal amounts, parts of it diffuse the mercury up and uh, inflation of the cuff will increase pressure on the arm and close 
the arteries. So we used also stethoscope. That's by which we hear the motion of blood flow in this part. And we can, uh, when increase pressure, close the arteries. So no blood flow and we can not hear uh, any sound. We look at the manometer. We see the 120 millimeter mercury, which is the systolic blood pressure. pressure and uh, we continuous deflation the cuff around the arm and decreasing uh, the pressure on the brachial artery uh, this increase uh, dec decrease uh, the pressure on the brachial artery the blood continuous move and we can hear through the stethoscope and its movements is turbulent that means we hear uh, turbulent sounds in our stethoscope Therefore, when there is no sound, means there is no force acts on the brachial artery. In this way, we can see the, uh, there is uh, a diastolic pressure. ATMG. This is a good way to explain the uh, systolic pressure. And uh, uh, end of uh, this lesson at this point because uh, we cannot um, kill off time for explaining we want our uh, every video will be sh so short to uh, be able uh, the um, follow uh, not the um, so uh, sheet so long